So let's start just by settling in. Close your eyes and start to feel your presence. Start to notice your breath. Do you feel the breath move in and out of your body? Maybe you feel your chest rising and falling. Let's move the breath down into your belly. So maybe place your hand on your stomach and allow the expansion of your belly. Let's start to deepen the breath. Find some constriction in the muscles, the back of the throat, just slightly drawing those whisper muscles together and draw your breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. A few more like that, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale again through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And again, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Now seal your lips. Continue to breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Sit up tall. Inhale, bring your palms together overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, your hands to heart center. Take a moment here if you wish. Just set an intention for your practice, for this planet, for this time in our lives. And then place your hands on your knees, palms down or palms up. Continue breathing into your belly, deep belly breaths. If your mind begins to wander, just draw your attention back to your breath. The breath is your connection to the present moment. It's the only thing that's real. And in this moment, you are here, you are alive, you are loved. We are all one. Start to find some movement with your head, tipping your head from side to side. Be circling your neck around. Whatever feels good. Bring your head neutral and shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Right arm in your body and give yourself a hug. A couple deep breaths into your belly. Sit up tall. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And let's switch out the arms. Bring your left arm across your chest and give it a hug. Some deep breaths into the belly. so that you can feel yourself grounding into the floor. Bring your hands right in front of you and start to walk yourself out long. 
Just find the first point of resistance. Allow your head to relax between your arms. Breathe into your belly and relax your shoulders. back up to your body. Switch out the cross of your feet, bring the opposite leg in front, and sit up to again. Draw the navel in slightly towards your spine, bring your hands in front of you and gently walk yourself out long. Keep your breath moving. Create more space, you can inch your fingers forward. Change, walk your hands back up to your body. Let's come into all fours. Shoulders above your wrists. Knees hip width distance apart. Neutral spine. On your inhale, lift your head and lift your tail. Look towards the ceiling. Open your heart. On your exhale, draw your navel in towards your spine. Drop your head, drop your tail. Press into the heels of your hands and push the floor away from you. Fill your back. Move however you like, cat, cow. Following your own breath, following your own movement. You can move from side to side as well. Find some organic movement here. And then spread your fingers wide. Turn your back toes under and lift your hips for downward dog. Bring your chest towards your thighs. Pedal your feet towards the floor, feeling the length in the back of your legs. Tip your sacrum towards the ceiling. Let your head relax between your arms. And breathe. Slowly walk to the top of your mat for ragdoll. Measure two fists between your feet. Let your chest drop towards your thighs. If your legs are tight, bend your knees. Nod your head. Shake your head. And take your opposite elbows in your hands. Gently roll the weight forward as you sway gently from side to side. Walk your feet together. Bend your knees a lot. Press through your heels and dive to standing. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Slight back bend here. Just engage your thighs. Let your head drop back. Inhale as you come up. Arms by your side, mountain pose. Find your breath. Connect with your breath. Feel the weight of your feet as they ground into the floor, shoulders relax away from your ears. Inhale, circle your arms up, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back here, shoulders away from the ears, neutral spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, upward salute, look up, lift up, palms touch. Back bend if it feels good. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Upward salute, look up, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your palms and step back. You're in a high plank here. If you have wrist issues, you need to come onto your fists. Or you can come onto your forearms. Lower your knees, belly, chin, and chest. Come all the way down to the floor. Chin on the floor. Legs zipped up behind you. Palms flat underneath your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale. Inhale and peel your chest up. Look up, lift up. Press your hip bones into the floor, toes into the floor. Draw your shoulder blades together behind you. Big inhale. Exhale, lower down. Pressing back into child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat. Widen your knees to create space to breathe. Ujjayi breathing. Drawing the breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Reach your fingers out long and lift your hips. Turn your toes under downward dog. Inhale your right leg high and step your right foot forward for a low lunge. Bring the back knee down. Bring both hands on top of your knee. Roll your shoulders back and let your hips sink. You can stay right here or you can inhale and bring your arms up. Let your hips settle in, draw your navel in towards your spine. Bring your hands to either side of your foot. Planting, grounding down through the left hand. Inhale, open up to the right side. Let's take some circles with the hand. Reach back, down, up and back. And one more time. Plant your hand here. Turn your back toes under, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high and step your left foot forward for a low lunge. Bring the back knee to the floor. Find your stability here. Interlace your fingers on the front of the knee. Roll the shoulders back and let your hips settle. Take some deep breaths into the belly. If you want to go deeper, inhale, bring your arms up. Look back, reach back. On your exhale, plant both of your hands. Rounding with the right hand down, navel to spine. Inhale, twist open with the left arm high. And then reach back. Follow the arm in a circle. And one more time. Bring your hand to the floor. Turn your back toes under, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower your knees. And find your way back up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to standing. Press your hips forward and let your head drop back. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. High plank. You can flow through a chaturanga or just bring your knees to the floor. Press back to child's pose. Downward dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Warrior one, bring your right foot forward. Turn your back heel down. Inhale as your arms lift. Check that your leg is um, stacking right over the ankle. The knee is stacking over the ankle. You're lowering down as low as you can and you have weight coming out the knife edge of your back foot. Draw your belly button in. Square your shoulders. Take some deep breaths here.
One more big inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Check that your knee doesn't fold in. So press it towards the pinky side of your foot. Relax your shoulders. Triceps engaged. Gaze over your front fingertips. Strong, powerful warrior. Inhale, reach forward. Let's reverse. Right arm overhead. your toes forward and let's fold forward place your hands on the floor and walk yourself out you can pigeon your toes in slightly allow your head to relax between your arms Slowly walk your hands back underneath you. Slight bend to your knees, hands to your hips, and come all the way back up. Warrior two, turn your toes forward, sink your hips down, bring your arms out in front of you. Inhale, reach forward, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, so place them on either side of your foot. Lift your back heel. Flow through your vinyasa, or bring your knees to the floor. And press back to child's pose. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Warrior one, left foot forward, back heel down. Find your stability here as you ground through the heel. Knee is right over the ankle back toes, finding its nice edge, pressing deep into the floor. Let your hips sink low. Nice deep breath. One more inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two. Arms in one line, shoulders relaxed away from the ears, triceps working. Sink your hips a little lower. Inhale, reach forward, flip your palm. Draw your forehead towards the floor. Roll the weight towards the balls of your feet. Relax your shoulders. Slowly walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Slight bend to the knees. Hands to your hips. Warrior two, turn your left toes forward, right ahead of the heels. Inhale, reach forward and reverse. Bring your knees to the floor. Camel pose. Separate your knees hip width distance apart. 
Bring your hands to your low back and draw your elbows together behind you. Stack your shoulders above your hips, above your knees. Start by just dropping your head back. Feel the stretch in the front of your neck. And maybe that's enough. Start to look along the ceiling, see if your eyes can reach the back wall. If they do, maybe you can reach down and grab your heels. Keep breathing. Slowly return, bringing your hands to your low back. Sit down on your heels and place your palms flat up on your thighs. Camel pose can make you feel a little nauseous, a little dizzy. That's normal. So just take a few deep breaths here. Bring your legs out in front of you. Janu Shoshasana. Start by sitting up tall. Flex your toes towards your face. You can feel your sitting bones underneath you, so you're leaning forward. Slide your right heel towards the edge of the mat. Bring your left heel to the inner thigh and sit up tall. Drawing the navel in, square over this leg. This is seated forehead to knee, so bend your knee as much as you need to to make the forehead to knee connection. Keep drawing the navel in to protect your low back. And if you don't have the flexibility here, it's perfectly fine to place your foot flat on the floor. Just try to make the forehead to knee connection. Again, you're trying to make the forehead to knee connection. So bend your knee as much as you need to. It may look like this. It may look like this. You may not be able to bring your forehead there yet, but that's the goal, eventually. out in front of you. Lean forward so you can feel your sitting bones, maybe remove the flesh from behind you. Hashimotanasana. Inhale your arms up. Peace fingers reach for the big toes or you can take the tops of your shins. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale as you reach for your toes. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Keep the length in the back of the legs shoulders relaxing away from your ears. Breath moving. of breath here. Change to the tall. Roll the shoulders back. Final twist. Your left leg stays long, right leg over the top. Ardha Matsya Andrasana. Grounding in with both of your sit bones. You can keep the left leg long if your hips are tight. Otherwise, you're going to slide your heel back 
sitting bones if your sitting bones down. Right hand comes behind your spine. Inhale your left arm high. Left elbow finds the outside of the knee. Draw the belly in and look to the right. With each inhale, you're sitting up a little taller. With each exhale, twisting a little deeper, drawing the navel in towards the spine. One more inhale. Exhale, let the head come forward, shoulders follow. Release your legs. And shake them out in front of you. Again, sitting up tall so you can feel your sitting bones. Left leg comes over the right. Again, you can leave this right leg long or you can bring your heel back towards your hip. Just bring your sitting bones down. Sitting up tall, left hand behind your spine. Inhale the right arm high. And bring your elbow to the outside of the knee. Exhaling, looking a little deeper with each breath. breath moving. One more inhale. Exhale, let your head come forward, shoulders follow. And shake your legs out in front of you. Come onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug here. Keep your feet side by side. the wrist or the elbows, you can just take one knee in each hand, draw them back towards your shoulders. Deep breaths here. Maybe your body is interested in some other movement, sacrum circles. Rocking from side to side, continue breathing into your belly. hip-width distance apart. Reach down with your arms long to touch your heels. On your inhale, lift your hips. Lift your spine off of the floor. Keep your chin slightly tucked towards your chest. Squeeze the glutes and breathe into the belly. Let the belly rise and fall. Reach for your heels. your feet and windshield wiper your knees from side to side. We'll take a second set of bridge with the option for a wheel. So bring your feet close to your body again. Separate them hip width distance apart. For bridge, you're going to reach for the heel. If you want to wheel, hands are going to come above the shoulders, elbows up like grasshopper legs. On your inhale, lift the hips. Reach for your heels if you're in bridge. If you're in wheel and you know where you're going, lift the head. Alternatively, for bridge, interlace the fingers underneath you. Draw your shoulders underneath your body. Press your pinkies into the floor. Pigeon. Plant your feet flat.
flat on the floor. Bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh and flex your toes towards your knee. Take the back or the front of your leg, interlace your fingers and start to draw the knee in towards your left shoulder. Keep your chin tucked towards your chest. Deep breaths here. towards your chest. Feet side by side, shoulders relaxed, spine long. Lower your left leg to the floor. Your right leg high. Hand to toe pose. Peace fingers grip the big toe. If you have a strap, you can wrap it around the ball of your foot. Or you can just interlace your fingers behind the back of your leg and draw your foot towards your face. Keep pressing through the heel. The length in the leg is more important than drawing it towards your face. So try to flex your leg, flex your foot. If you're more flexible, you can bring your leg behind your head if you want. You can take your foot out to the side. Just keep your breath moving. Would you like to take the foot with your opposite hand? 
left heel. Flex your toes towards your face. Again, peace fingers. Grip the big toe. Strap around the ball of your foot or interlace your fingers behind the back of your leg. Continue to press through the heel to find length in the back of the leg. baby and roll down grab the outer edges of your feet draw your knees to the floor lengthen your tailbone and rock your baby find a little massage on your spine
right heel to the corner of the mat, bring the left heel next to it or the ankle on top. And then the right hand grabs the left wrist to pull over to the right. Both shoulders on the mat, stretching the left side body. strengthening, chin on the floor, palms flat, zip your legs up tight behind you. On your inhale, lift your chest. Press your hip bones down into the floor, toes into the floor. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands behind you up flat on the floor. Zip your legs up tight, locust. Exhale, inhale, lift your head. Lift your fingers, point your toes, draw your pinkies together behind you. Keep looking forward. One more inhale. Exhale, lower down. Look to the left. Right ear on the mat. Belly down, Shavasana. One more time, bring your chin forward. Zip your legs up behind you. You can interlace your fingers behind the back if that's accessible to you. Exhale, inhale, lift your hands. Lift your feet, lift your heart. Point your toes, big inhale. Exhale, look to the right. Left ear on the mat, belly down, Shavasana. Bring your left arm straight out from your shoulder and then use the right hand to push yourself over. Rest your head on the mat and bring your right foot behind your left knee. out the arms, right arm long. Use the left hand to roll yourself away and bring your left foot behind your knee. Continue moving your breath in and out of your body. Deep inhale through the nose. Full exhale, navel to spine. Thread the needle, so come up onto all fours. 
Place the left hand in front of your face. Navel to spine as you inhale, twist open. Right arm under the left. Right ear on the mat. Reach all the way through. Press your left hand down. Let's change. Press into the left hand as you lift your body. Place the right hand in front of your face. Navel to spine as you twist open with the left arm high. Left arm under right. Left ear to the mat. Reach all the way through. Placing pressure in the right palm. Pressure in the left. Child's pose. Press your hips back towards your heels. Bring your forehead to the mat. Breathe deep into the belly. We're all children of this earth. We're all connected to this earth. The earth needs our energy. The earth needs to heal. And we're healing this to the edge of the mat. Shin as parallel as you can as you walk your left foot back. Half pigeon. You can sit up tall, hands underneath your shoulders. If you need more of a stretch, you bring your shin forward. If you're ready to go deeper, come onto your forearms. Come onto your chest. Deep breaths here. Couple more rounds of breath. Start to come out. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Turn your back toes under. And switch out the legs. Let the blood flow back into your right leg. Bring your left knee to the corner of the mat. You can walk your right knee back. Square your hips. Deep inhale. You can stay right here. You can come down onto your forearms. Come onto your forehead. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders. Breathe mm -hmm. into your hips. Create more space here. Mm 
back underneath your shoulders. Turn your back toes under. Lift your hip and sweep your leg back. Downward facing dog. Take a dragon pose. Step your right foot forward. Bring your back knee down. Lift the inner arch of your foot and let your knee drop open. You can look over your shoulder in a twist. deeper into your dragon. toes under, lift your hips and sweep your right leg back. Let the blood flow. Lift the left leg. Step to the outside of your mat. Bring your back knee down. You can walk the knee back. Lift the inner arch of your foot. And let your leg drop open. You can find a corkscrew. Soften your face. You can come into your dragon a little deeper. underneath your shoulders. Tuck your back toes under, lift your hips, and sweep your left leg back. Downward facing dog. Come onto your back. Our final resting posture, Shavasana. Bring your heels together. Let your toes drop open. Palms facing up. Breath moving into your belly. 
breaths into your belly. Maybe roll onto one side and rest your head on your arms. to end with a poem called Where to Find It. Kept looking for goodness, kept asking everyone where I could find the good in the world. It was not until I looked within and grew my own goodness that I began to see it everywhere. And that's from this beautiful book by Cleo Wade. Thank you, Melina. We want to thank you so much for being here, for allowing us into your living room. Thank you, Skerritt, for the beautiful music. Thank you for this crew, this crew of two and one in the back. So we couldn't have brought this to you without Carlos and live stream, live concerts dot stream, Gordon, and our man behind the scenes, Nicholas. So thank you so much. And as you know, we're in incredibly difficult times. So we're making the best of what we have.
coming to you in your living room, bringing our light, our love. If you're able to donate anything, there's links. I'm sure you've seen them. I have not seen them. <laughs> but we would appreciate anything you can contribute. And uh, we hope to see you again virtually at the very least. The divine light in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.